All right, so there's four parts of the master hunt test. There's the land blind, there's the upland, there's the water blind and the water mark. And what we're doing today is we're beginning with caddis uh, on the water mark, which will lead the way into the water blind. So if you look here, this little dirt tank is a round tank. I have the white bucket out there, which she's used to picking up bumpers near the white buckets. So that's a visual for her. But a dog's tendency when you start this is to run around the bank and find find the easiest way to the bumper. So what we're working on today is getting a direct launch toward the bumper. And I'm using this point here. You can see there's a point that when I get up there next to her, it looks like there's nowhere else to go but directly to the bumper. So I'm, we're working on the water mark. So I'm gonna go up to the line. I'm gonna throw a short bumper, let her go get it, and I'm gonna gradually lengthen that out. Heel, dead bird, sit, good, mark. Caddis. Nice direct entry. And I'm gonna get on the here whistle as soon as she even, before she even gets to the bumper. Because another tendency is the dog to get out on the bank and run around, and we want her to come directly back. Here, good girl, good girl. And she's had one day of this already. The first day she tried to find a better way out instead of going directly into the pond, but now we're making really good progress. I'm gonna throw one even further and see what happens. So we're gonna really pay attention at this point in training to the delivery, so I'm gonna have her heel all the way back. Heel, 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 which really isn't necessary, but I just, I like it like that. I'm already paying attention. I want her spine and her nose to be in a straight exact line anytime I send her on a retrieve now. So I'm gonna throw it a little bit further. Mark, right there, good. Caddis. Beautiful, and again, I'm gonna hit the hear whistle before she gets there. Here, good, good girl. Yeah, she's really doing well on this, so at this point, I can go ahead and start working on doing some more force to the pile work. Heel. So one more, I'm gonna try to go ahead and throw on the bank over there, heel, heel. And we'll just see what she does. She'll probably try to run the bank, but we'll just see what happens here. Sit. Right there, good. Back. So it may get a little choppy here because she's gonna wanna run the bank back. But I'm just gonna stay opposite of her and make her sit and give her, give her the recall. So if she tries to run the bank one way or the other, I'm gonna sit her on the whistle and just show her there's no other way to come but straight back through the water. And this is the first time she's done this. Here, 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 good girl, that's the way. Good girl, woo, good girl. A lot of positive verbal because that was an excellent decision. Yeah, it was the first time she exited the water and re-entered on a straight line. That was, that was perfect. Good, here. Good, heel and sit. What a good girl, sit. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go plant these four bumpers, sit. Since we made that amount of progress, I didn't expect it to go that well. So I'm gonna go just put some birds by the bucket and try to center on a a blind retrieve up. So what's interesting about Caddis is, you know, she's like 11 months old now, and I've really had to take my time showing the different concepts. And all of a sudden she hit 10 or 11 months, and her learning processes have really sped up. So I'm just gonna show her these bumpers right here. Hey, 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 hey. And she's used to picking stuff up at the bucket. She does this on land flawlessly. And I suspect, based on the first part of this session, that it's going to go really smooth also. Heel. Good. Sit. Dead bird. Right there. Good. Back. She may get confused here, and if she does, I'll just encourage her with a back cast. But she's looking like she's nailing it. 
So this now is training for the water blind on the hunt test section. So if I can get her across the pond, then I can handle her to the bumper and it doesn't matter with the spaniels if they run the bank or not, but I'm gonna try to keep that from happening just to make it look good. Good girl! Here! 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 Hi, right girl! Good girl! That's no pressure, that's just her understanding the concept and making it happen. This is awesome. Good. And that's the very first water blind. You know, she got some help. She sees a bucket out there, knows where the birds are, but this is the first time we've tried this concept. Good. Here. Heel. 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 Good girl. All right. All right, shake it off.